last guy I killed was tougher than you. Fists to a gunfight. Picking up fire alarms in the building. Yeah, they're torching the place. Either to erase evidence or kill me. you intend to do now, Thor? Shoot me again? You were the one working with Halbeck in Moscow, and you're gonna answer for that. I... I think I already have. Not by my count. Now start talking. You shoot me. Now you want me to tell you everything? In... in exchange for what? I am dying. If I tell you, you will only kill me faster. Zirkov, I can still get you medical attention, and if you're not working with Halbeck, then it sounds like we can work together instead. I read your dossier, Thor. You are a man of your word. If bringing Hal back down is your mission. I, I will help you. All right, lay still. I can treat some of the bleeding, but I'll need to get you to a hospital. That, that is enough for me. The records you want, the ones incriminating Hal back, they are on my embassy workstation. Look for the encryption codes in my contact list. Under Jacob. Thank you, sir. Mina, can you call for an ambulance? Call the local hospital. Help is on the way. His information on the encryption codes checks out, Mike. Now get out of there. Will do. Don't move, Circle. I... I would not dream of it.
This is it? After Rome and Moscow, I was expecting something a little more... upscale. Maybe you should unwind after the flight. Maybe take a shower. That might be more tempting if you were here. That might have to wait until we aren't fugitives from our own government. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. to my dead drop in Prague. Now that you've made it to Taipei, what are your plans? I sort of figured I'd improvise. I'll put an ear to the ground and see what I can find out. Don't you think you need a little more focus than that? I've got three leads to start with. This Stephen Heck guy seems like he knows what's going on in Taipei. He might be able to answer some questions. Be careful, Mike. I've checked my databanks, and I can't find any evidence that Stephen Heck has ever worked for the CIA. I'll be on my guard. There's also that anomalous data trail from Shahid's system. Any luck tracing it down? I managed to follow it back to a place in the warehouse district. I'm forwarding the address to you now. What's the final lead? Simple. Follow the money. Shahid was funneling large amounts of money to a front corporation for the White Oak Mountain Triad. Think I can persuade them to tell me why. Sounds like you've got everything figured out. Isn't that why you love me? You watch yourself out there, Mr. Thornton. Always. There's enough coke residue on this knife to get very, very high. I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Hong Shur, my name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Both of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. 
Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these rogues. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant Guaylo tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. Okay, I'm not far from the market. We're in the slums. I'm picking up some activity near your position. I don't think Hong Shir gave us the whole story. The head of an organized crime syndicate not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. Interesting. What is? I just found a ten-page list of Triad members. How does that help us? I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said ten pages? How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong sure told us about. You better watch yourself, Mike. There's no telling what else you forgot to tell us about. My thoughts exactly.
need help. the lieutenants. Good work. Head back to the safe house. I'll arrange a meeting for you with Hong Shur's people. I'm on my way. Wait a minute. Mike, satellites are picking up multiple individuals headed your way fast. Triads? Probably. They're armed like triads anyway. How much time do I have? Not long. We'll be there in less than a minute. You better find a good defensive position. Good thinking. It looks like they'll be coming in from the loading dock directly opposite the door you entered from. Looks like they already had a turret covering that entrance. That might be just the thing to welcome them.
Mr. Thornton, you return. The television is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. There were a lot of triad soldiers in those slums. Probably more than would have jumped ship over a business dispute. Thank you for your concern, Mr. Thornton. I will look into the matter. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sung. A pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. Omen Dang? Who's he? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. I'm sending you the data I got from Hong Shu now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Nobody hires Triad gangsters to provide security for a diplomatic exchange. Any hint what was really going on? Hong Shu's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, he let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion? Do I want to know? You really don't. That gives us a time and a place. Think it's enough to go on? Xingmei Station is pretty big. You could wander around for an hour and not find the exchange. You'll need to identify the package being handed off. If you can find a way to track it, even better. I'll well, see what I can dig up. I'll be in touch. Okay. Good luck, Mike. In the back. With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. Steve Heck, I'm here on business. Agency. Sure, sure, business. be right with you. Oh, and you call me Steve again. Cut your thumbs off at Cigar Clippers, okay? So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy dish. Ah, that does it, Wen. You know I don't like sweet. Oh, the candy dish. That's right. That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I like your style. Do any of the people you've interrogated know anything about an attempt on Sung's life? You're new in town. I don't think I've tortured you yet. Sorry? Why didn't you come say hello when you arrived? Couldn't find the place? If I hadn't been with Wen here, I would have made the time to seek you out. Well, I wasn't sure if you had what I needed to know. I know a lot about a lot of things. Like, for instance, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op code named Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And when. You're with the agency, am I right? 
That's not what I'm here to discuss. Do you know anything or not? Me? <laughs> Do I know something? That's a gas is what that is. You're wasting my time, Heck. Steven, relax. You came to the right place. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You heard about Rome and Moscow, right? The International Hockey Championships? Oh yeah, that was something. No. The U.S. Embassy attack and the incident at the museum. Really? Well, I definitely heard of that thing you just said. All right, color me convinced. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, do you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Hey, yeah. And uh, considering that item posted a few years back in the Worldly Weekly about that pig fat being used as an experimental bullet toxin, not a coincidence. You, you might be onto something there, Mike. I'll look into that for sure. Ronnie Sung, Ronnie Sung. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? Actually, all of the above. But right now, I'm most interested in who might want Sung dead. Political assassinations? Yeah, those are fun. One time, I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premier of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But Sung? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sung's gonna be there, along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. Any idea what they're meeting about? They're meeting about that little firecracker in Rome, how much it's helping the climate of fear rise a few degrees. But that's just a fact, not a guess. Emotional meteorology isn't what I went to school for. So you're suggesting I infiltrate the hotel. Why? Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. Knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. <laughs>